has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Hello guys, my name is Imrick117, today I'm checking out the World War Z Aftermath official gameplay overview trailer. So I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if it's a new game or if it's just like another DLC like, you know, Mortal Kombat Aftermath or something. But let's check this out. So 3, 2, 1, now. Because I, I did like the first War, World War Z game. I, I enjoyed it. Make a stand against the undead swarm in World War Z Aftermath. Ultimate co-op zombie shooter inspired by Paramount Pictures' blockbuster film and the next evolution in the World War Z game franchise that has now captivated over 15 million players. Here at Saber Interactive, we are excited about what Aftermath is bringing to the universe of World War Z. In this video, we'll show you what's new in the game before you get the chance to experience it for yourself this fall. One of the hallmarks of World War Z has been the co-op episodic campaign experience set across locations around the world that tell the developing story of survivors of the zombie apocalypse. In Aftermath, you will take the fight back to the undead and find ways to turn the tide for the first time in all new international locations, including Rome. You'll face Zeke in close quarters through cobblestone streets and annihilate the hordes with your fellow survivors in epic battles through the catacombs, the Colosseum and more. With careful teamwork and fearless combat, together you will fight to take back Vatican City in the ultimate confrontation against the zombie scourge. Join old friends from previous episodes of World War Z in a brand new location with missions in the Russian peninsula of Kamchatka, where you will need to traverse an abandoned cruise ship and fight your way through a blizzard to recover a nuclear submarine. For the first time in the franchise, you have the option to experience the massive battles against the zombie horde in the up-close and personal first-person view. And that's not all. An intense and visceral new melee system takes World War Z combat to the next level, allowing you to slaughter Zeke with unique moves, perks, and all new dual wielding and two-handed melee options featuring brutal weapons like sickles, cleavers, the fire axe, sledgehammer, and more. We've also added the brand new Vanguard class. For a total of eight unique classes in Aftermath, Vanguards wield a powerful electric shield to plow through hordes with devastating efficiency. And keep your eyes and ears open for a new threat. A vicious plague of rats also join the ranks of special flesh-hungry enemies. They require acute team awareness and precise aim or crowd control weapons to overcome them. Keep a lookout or you'll soon find yourselves overwhelmed. To provide our community with more gameplay rewards than ever before, we're adding daily challenges with special modifiers for bonus rewards, so there will always be a new bounty to take on each day that you play. For PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X players, all of this intense action comes at you in glorious 4K resolution and 60 frames per second. For players new to the franchise, World War Z Aftermath includes all new content from World War Z Game of the Year Edition including the full episodes of New York, Moscow, Jerusalem, Marseille, and Tokyo. Altogether, 23 total PvE maps across seven massive episodes. An amazing wealth of content. And for our veteran World War Z players, we have you covered with discounted purchase paths to get after them. Online multiplayer gameplay truly makes this a game for the community. And for those who prefer to go the single-player lone wolf approach, World War Z Aftermath will, as always, allow you to play through all episodes with AI teammates so you don't have to rely on friends or strangers to continue the story. Hmm. We cannot wait for you to get your boots on the ground once again in the war against the zombie swarms. We will see you and your friends in action this fall in World War Z Aftermath. Nice, very cool. So yeah, it's DLC, essentially, or just like new stuff and everything.
So that's cool. I, I really enjoyed this game. Um, I, yeah, I, I've been really, like, ugh, let me start that sentence again. I really enjoyed it when it first came out. Um, I haven't come back for some of the DLCs. I think they added, like, I did do the second, like, they added, like, an extra mission for Tokyo. I did do that. I don't think I did, like, the other, I forgot what country it was. It was Venice or something. Um, no, not Venice. I can't remember, but it was, like, someone they added... But this, yeah, it's weird, because I did buy the season pass, but then they only gave you one DLC. I assume this is what they give you as well, I, I assume, but I don't know. But, I, I mean, I like these type of games. Like, I'm excited for that Aliens game, Alien Fireteam Elite. I cannot wait for that game. Um, mainly because it's pretty much like this, but Aliens, you know? And that's that's what I'm into. I think, that, I think that's fun for me. And, you know, especially playing with friends and stuff, it's also fun, so... Yeah, but then, uh, yeah, I'll probably play this. I don't know if I, like, I'll probably try and get my mates back into it, but maybe not. They'll probably be playing Back for Blood at the, at that time. Um, but still, you know, it's there. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.